a comment on um, Olivia's comments on childcare, and I, I certainly agree with that, but can I also say caring for elderly people, for parents, yeah. is a rising issue in our society. And more and more women in their, people in their 50s and 60s, but the burden generally falls on women, are caring for elderly parents. And we don't want to see elderly people in nursing homes unless they have to be there. We want to care for them. And that is going to be a huge issue for our society. In Germany, they're racing themselves for a loss of 5 million workers over the next 15 years. They're not replacing themselves, neither is Italy. Um, and they're really worried about the demographics and how they're going to fund um, their social systems in those countries. We have a, li a little bit of headroom because our demographics are better. But when we think about the childcare issue, we need to think about the caring issue for people at the other end. And although some people may not have had children, I don't believe I could have done my political job if I had children when I lived in Dublin, um, because it would have been impossible. The mothers of Ireland today mightn't like politics for different reasons, but never have we needed more female voices in politics than we did today. Uh, for a whole host of reasons, some to do with the issues that Olivia mentioned, childcare, all of that. Men and women think differently. That has been my experience. Not on every issue, but on some issues. And it's the mix of those different perspectives that leads to really good decision making. And if you don't get that mix, you get bias, you get a lack of objectivity, and you get bad decisions, and in my view, bad governance. So ladies, there may be somebody here, go for it. I sometimes speak to school students, and I recalled a story last night. Um, I was in Sagard National School in, just after I became Thonishta. And after I became Thonishta, and I was at a meeting and somebody said, we'd now like to call the Thonishta. I used to look around for Dick Spring. That's actually the truth. <laughs> to say, oh, that was me. And I, was in, I was in Sagard National School in my constituency and it was about, I'd say it was about fifth class, there were about 10 or 11. And, you know, we did a little talk. And the hardest talks to do are to very young people. And the hardest questions are very young people. Like they say, what do you do all day? They talk about meetings. What are you talking about in the meetings? You know, and they're, really, they're simple, but they're very difficult. But anyway, the teacher said, you know, uh, who's the tonish to Mary Harney? What does the tonish to do? And this little fella put up his hand and he said, She's barely more <coughs> parents' wife. <laughs> anyway, you no longer need to be connected to a man uh, to become a politician in Ireland. And I look forward to the day uh, when we have at least 30% uh, in the doll of females and um, will be dealt with. We've come a long way. We've unfinished business to do, but as I said this morning, compared with the issues in the rest of the world confronted by women, where 120 million of them are sexually assaulted or raped before they're 20, we've achieved a lot in Ireland. Let's not stop till we finish the journey.